hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix valorant error code van minus 79 let's fix it guys first step is to check for windows updates ensure your operating system is up to date to do this go to search menu and type check for updates click on open it select check for updates and install any pending updates listed over here after getting you are up to date just to close stuff here Second step is to update the graphics drivers. Ensure your graphics drivers are up to date. To do this, you just need to open up GeForce Experience. If you not have GeForce Experience, then you just need to check my video description for the download link. For AMD users, open the AMD software. Select the drivers tab and select check for updates. If you have any available update listed over here, then you just need to update it and make your graphics card up to date, guys. After doing it, go to home. In here, you just need to find the Valorant and select the details. Select the spanner icon over here. And resolution, click on the drop down and select the recommended resolution. And display mode, select the recommended full screen. And if you set this to quality, then you just need to drag this to performance. And select apply to save changes. After that, just go back and close stuff here. The third step is to restart Vanguard service. To do this, go to search menu and type services. Click on open it. In services, you just need to search for VGC service. You just need to double click on it. Startup type set to automatic and select apply and OK. Now you just need to right click on the VGC service and select start. After starting the service, just close stuff here. The fourth step is to reinstall Vanguard. To do this, you just need to go to search menu and type control panel. Click on open it. Select uninstall a program. Search for write Vanguard. Just right click on it and select uninstall and select S. Yes. Select S yes again. Now you just need to press in keyboard F5 to refresh this page. And as you can see, write Vanguard is uninstalled. After that, just to go stuff here. Now you just need to open up Valorant. Select the update option and install the Vanguard. After getting update done, you just need to restart your PC, guys. After restarting your PC, you can check if the problem solved or not. The fifth step is to run Valorant as administrator. To do this, you just need to right click on the Valorant shortcut and select run as administrator and check if the problem solved or not. The sixth step is to check firewall settings. Ensure that your firewall is not blocking Vanguard. To check that, you just need to go to search menu and type allow an app through Windows firewall. Click on open it. In here, you just need to select change settings. Select allow another app. Select browse. Now you just need to go to local disk C, write games and Valorant live Valorant.exe and select to open it. Select add. In my case, I already added this. After adding the game, you just need to check mark these both option guys, private and public, check mark it. And after that, select allow another app again and select browse. Go to local disk C. Write games, write client, write client service.exe, click on open it and select add. After adding the right client, check mark these both options and select OK to save changes. The seventh step is to enable secure boot in BIOS. Secure boot may need to be enabled for Vanguard to function correctly. To do this, you just need to restart your computer and enter the BIOS or UEFI setup. Usually by pressing F2, F10 or escape key during startup and find the secure boot options and enable it guys. After that, you just need to select the save changes option and exit the BIOS or UEFI setup and your problem should be fixed guys. I hope one of these steps fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.